So guys, what's going on? So we've reviewed a lot of smartwatches on this channel. I tend to like them. The ones I don't like, the likes of Apple, Samsung, all that, they're, they're pointless. We all know what they do. We've seen the adverts and I'm not a fan of them. I like to see the ones that don't have much advertising and all that rubbish. So recently I found a company. I'm not 100% sure what they're called. It just says smartwatch. That's all their packaging really says. So we looked at a smartwatch, your fitness tracker from a mold. Now we reviewed something similar that responds to the same app a little while ago and it was a square uh, a square smartwatch that looked the exact same as the Apple iPhone watch and pretty much did the exact same features for literally a fraction of the price. I'll put a link in the description for that as well but this is the one we're looking at today. So of course the first thing we are going to be talking about is Windows 10 Pro OEM key and this is the CD key global lifetime key. So all we need to do is check for the platform, the region and the operating system which is good. Then we just need to click on buy now. So as we can see at the moment it's at Great British Pounds of £16.42. Ah, well if we type in SKJT that has brought it down to £12.31. So you've already had a massive saving by using the discount code SKJT. Don't forget that. That's a discount code you need to use. And then we can select a payment type. So I've got everything from Visa, MasterCards, PayPal, Mint, Neosurf. Depends on your payment type. I'm going to use PayPal because I use it all the time. So I'll be back in a minute. So as we can see, there is the purchase I've just made. That is the Windows 10 Pro OEM key global lifetime. So on the green little tab, click on that. And then what it's going to give you is this. It just gives you a breakdown of what's going on as well as get the key. So what you need to do is click on get the key. The middle code, which is blurred out currently, that is the code you're going to need to actually activate Windows 10 Pro OEM key. The great thing is that when you actually do activate this, it does allow you for free upgrades to Windows 11 as well, depending on your system requirements. But that's also a good thing to think about. Click on Control C or right click and copy. And then what we need to do is go over the settings and actually activate. Press Control V or paste. Don't worry, mine's going to be blurred out. Yours won't be. So what we're going to do is click on next. And Windows has already done that. So we're going to click on activate. And we're pretty much good to go. You have now just upgraded to Windows 10 Pro OEM key with a free upgrade up to Windows 11. So recently I've been looking at some relatively quite cool smartwatches. Everything from fitness ones, the copy of the uh, Apple iWatches, the Samsung copies, the Samsung watches, the Apple watches, all that good stuff. Well, I've been looking at more into fitness ones these days because obviously it's getting to that point where, you know, fitness is quite uh, an important thing, obviously. But monitoring, monitor, monitoring it can be quite important also. So what we're doing today is looking at a smartwatch and this is your fitness tracker, the Amold. Now, we reviewed one the other day, which is just on the cards there, which was a similar one, but this was a square face one. Now, this one is more of a Fitbit design. Obviously, we all know what they look like. So that's what we're looking at. So let's just get into it. So just to start off, we do have a little user manual here. This is going to tell us everything we need to know about it, getting it connected to the likes of the app, how it works and all that good stuff. So make sure you keep a hold of that. We do get, I believe, a charger. Yeah, we do get a charger. So this is a USB to two pin magnet USB. So as we can see there, we've got two magnets and then the two brass indicators. That is how you actually charge it. About a meter worth of cable as well as the USB port, which is quite cool. And then, of course, we have the watch itself. I'm just going to get all this popped away just for a second. Now we do get the watch itself, which relatively does look quite cool. Obviously, this is more for like a feminine watch or a women's watch just due to the color. But and again, anybody can wear these. I'm not judging. So when it comes to the watch, first of all, just going to get this plastic off just so we can see a little bit better. And then here we have it. This is the watch we're looking at. So like I said, we do have a display screen, but it is fairly very small. These watches are not meant to know, like sending messages, communicating with the outside world, all that rubbish. This is pretty much a fitness tracker. So this is why what it's designed for. So like I said, we did go for the more of a maroon color, if I can get this undone. So we did go for more of a maroon color and it's got more of like a rose gold clasp, as we can see there, which is actually quite a nice design, which is relatively similar color to the watch itself, which is quite cool. So on the back of the watch, we do have the double brass indicators. So this is actually for charging capability. And then on the side here, we do have the BP. So this is going to read your blood pressure and tell you on the screen. Ah, so I have actually just turned it on. I'm not sure how I did that. I think it was this button here. So this is the display we're going to go through. As we can see, we have the time in the corner and then we have everything from our steps to our blood pressure. So 
So what we're going to do is cycle through. So we first of all, we have running. We have night time. So this is going to tell you how much you've slept that night. We've got heart rate. We've got blood pressure, blood oxygen, workout. So depending on what workout you're doing. And then we also have settings. If you want to select one of these, you do have to hold, hold down on it, I believe. So if you do want to actually go through the settings. So if obviously I'm on running here. So if I hold down and press it. What it's going to do is give me a tracker. It's going to give me how many steps I've done, the distance I've done, as well as calories I have burnt. Now, if I click on it again, it's going to go back. Sleep time, if I go to heart rate, hold down on heart rate, what it's actually going to do is measure the heart rate. So what I'm going to do is quickly pop this on where it would normally go. So give it a few minutes, and what it's going to do is read my heart rate. It might fail because I didn't put it on straight away, but we'll see what happens. So I currently have a heart rate of 70, 79 beats per second, which isn't too bad, I guess. I am in a very hot room, so not too bad. Then we, of course, we've got blood pressure, we've got blood oxygen, and then the workout. If I hold down on workout, so it's going to give us walking, running, cycling, mountaineering, and then that's pretty much it. Obviously, we'll go through the app in a minute, and we'll go through that. So what I need to do is I'm going to download the app. I'm going to grab my phone, if I can find it. On the box itself, there is a QR code. So all I'm going to do is go into my camera. I'm going to give that a scan. Open it in Chrome. And then it's going to tell us roughly what the app is. So the app is called Keep Health. I already have it because I reviewed one of these watches a little while ago. So what I'm going to do is go to me. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go to device. I'm going to unbind the device because this is for a different device. So what I'm going to do is go over to add device. It's going to tell me the devices I've got. So I've got C64E8E. I believe that is the one. If I go into settings, it will tell me. Yep, so that is the device. So C60. I'm going to give that a click. And there we go. So we have connected successfully. So we are now connected to this device. Now, if I do go to devices, it will show us. Oh, I'll quickly pair with it. So I'm in the devices. And as we can see there, I'm currently paired. So I'm going to allow this. It's going to do its little thing. And there we are connected. So like I said, from here, we can change the watch face. Obviously, depending on what you want, you have full maneuverability of the watch face as well. But if I do go back, we can also do everything from, we have no, oh, one minute, I'll tell you what, I'll do a screen recording just to make it a bit easier for you guys to see. So obviously, we've got the main page here. We've got the device, which is in the top. We've got watch faces like we've just been through. You can change these to all the different ones. Got notifications. So depending on what notifications you want, obviously, for your messages, and we have a full line of different things going on there. We have alarm, so you can set an alarm with this. Health monitoring, so it's it'll show your health monitoring time detected, so it'll tell you your health monitoring. And then also health reminders, so if you want a reminder for every time you need to drink water, you can do, which is pretty cool. So we do have others more, so obviously this is setting goals, camera uh, controls, do not disturb mode, all that good stuff. So you have full maneuverability of that. You have search for your bracelet, so obviously if it's missing. So at the moment it is vibrating, so if I do search for bracelet, so it does actually vibrate if you are searching for it. I don't know, say if you've misplaced it in your house or whatever. We have firmware as well as factory reset depending on what's going on. So if I go over to health, this will give us a full diagnosis of step counter, consumption, distance, heart rate, sport record, sleep, blood pressure. You've got drink water, blood oxygen, body weight as well as family health. So you have full utilization of this. So sport, you can monitor your sport from your phone as well, from running, walking, and cycling. So this will give you full maneuverability, and this will show you where you went, how you went, and what distance you did. So you really do have a full maneuverability of when it comes to this watch. So if you do want to go check one of these out, links are in the description. So guys, there we have it. That was the video we have just done there. So yes, this is more designed around fitness because of the, the shape, the angle, and the design of the actual watch itself. But it will still act the same as an other one. So it will give you message alerts. It will tell you when your phone's been rang. It will do everything from your blood pressure to your heart rate to all that good stuff. As well as monitor every fitness device or fitness activity you are being involved in. So it really is good on that aspect. You know, it's easy to use. It's got one simple button. Turn on, turn off. And then you can cycle through all the different sleep patterns as well as controlling it through the app. The app gives you full utilization of knowing everything that's going on. And overall, really, really good little product. So if you do want to go check one out for yourself, please do check the links in the video description. And as always, if the video did help you in any way, shape, or form, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.